Okay, I'm back with the textile portion of my haul. Um, some of it we're going to go through together because the bags were fastened shut and I couldn't see everything. But I did pick up this quilt for $30. It's, um, you can see it's quite worn in spaces, but I opened it up enough to see, this is the outside, I opened it up enough to see that inside it, uh, the inner squares are a lot better, but they're still worn. But I thought that this would be really good to use pieces of it in the uh, domestic arts journals. I even love the back with the hand stitching because these are hand stitched. This is hand stitched. So I want to use it in domestic arts journals on the covers inside and I can also use um, the good portions of the quilt, the better portions, I can use as journal covers for other kinds of journals. And I always look at the quilts, and they're always more than I want to spend, of course, because, well, they are worth it. But this one, because it's not in great shape, it was marked for 30 so I went for it. Um, this is a really fun piece. Baby's book. And I thought this would be really awesome. It also in domestic arts journals. It's got a shoelace. Um, I It was $5, and I thought, well, I didn't really like the cover, and I thought that's a lot for what I want to do, but when I saw the inside things, I thought it was worth it. There's a little mitt here for the baby to put their hand in. There's a house. Oops, I need to be able to see it. When you open it, there's a little person there. Isn't that adorable? There's a lady's face. Her hair is corduroy. Her face is embroidered, and there's a little bow that the child can learn to tie. There's tools, and they're made out of different textures, so the baby can... Well, mostly corduroy, but this is something different, more like wool. Oh, the allergies are going again. Okay, there's a clock with button-on clock hands. A rickrack. <laughs> And there's a shirt with a zipper. Somebody put a lot of work into this. There's some shoes with ties and eyelets. And there's some shapes. Oh, the pieces have gone. They're Velcro. So I suppose I could make pieces to go on there. And it says the end. Isn't that sweet? I love that. Ugh. I got another piece of vintage fabric. It's a pretty good size piece and I love it. It's got geraniums and this was only two dollars. And these were 50 cents each. These little seam bindings. Not seam bindings. Um, bias tape. And I know I put a lot of my vintage handkerchiefs in the fabric bundles that I put together, and I only replaced one. I passed by a lot of them, but this was just so pretty with pink rose. Mm. I'm sorry, I did take a, a pill before I started, so hopefully it will start taking effect soon. So, I'll just go through these bags with you because I didn't open them to see what was in them. This was $3 for this bag. I love going to this booth when she has restocked it. There's some lace. Mm, the wide bias tape. Some blue grow grain, grain ribbon. It's got wire in it. Pink cord. Is that a snow baby? I don't know if it's a genuine one, but it's cute. I don't know why it's in this bag. Some satin ribbon, taffeta ribbon. That'll be nice to tie around a journal. What is this? Fleece. I don't want a piece of fleece. Black fleece. And then there's a bunch of wooden stars. A little knit sweater, it says Ted. 
Must have been a little bear's sweater. Here's some appliques. There's a star. Snow White. Donald Duck dressed as an Indian. Minnie. A couple of them. Popeye. Garfield. The Fast Mouse. I forgot his name. Andele, Andele. Mickey dressed as a cowboy. And Garfield again. And a little, a couple of little wooden barns. I can use them on a farm journal that I want to make. And iron-on hem tape. Not sure if that bag was worth three dollars. And uh, this one was one dollar. And I think there was some Christmas stuff in here. So there's some gold ribbon. It's got some stitching on it, and this one is more plain. I think they're both wired. Um, well, there's purple ribbon. That's not Christmassy. Very pale lavender. And this cord, red and gold cord. I'm sorry if I haven't been showing them properly in the viewfinder. Mm, this is a ribbon looks Christmassy. There's a yellow polka dot. Oh, that's pretty. Some ivory satin ribbon. Very lovely and wide. There's some suede. Oh, I like that. Daisy trim with pink centers. And a wide grow grain in a forest green. Well, that was worth a dollar. Mm, this one was a dollar. It's got two colors of lace in it. I don't really like gathered lace, but it was only a dollar, and there's quite a bit here, and it's a uh, blue. There's a lot there, and then I, I do like this one, and there's quite a bit of that also. Do not open, and then it says, Clerk, do not sell open. And I don't know. Oh, this one was three. So there's this wired ribbon with the gold beads on it. It's quite a lot of this pink lace. Looks vintage. I'll have to copy stain, copy dye this because this is stained eyelet. Maybe in, well, it looks like it's stained. Yeah, but I'll copy dye this and use it. It's a really pretty eyelet. A wide lace. I might copy dye that too. This one, I don't know what it is. It's a finished piece. The edges are finished. Oh, this is vintage. Oh, I love it. Very pretty. It's a very pale pink. It is stained. Um, this, that's pretty. And this pink. Here's a wide one. And then this is a Christmassy one, and again, it's got wire in it. So those were Ziploc bags. She threw this in for free, this crocheted bookmark. She saw I had all this stuff, so she thought I would like that. Now these cost more. I'm hoping that I'll be able to sell some in the shop because they are antique this one says vintage the other packages say antique i got them all from the same seller so i paid the extra money hoping that i'd be able to sell some in my shop and still keep some for myself so this is the one that's marked vintage 
It's a really pretty green crochet trim. And I don't know how much is on the cards. There's a pale blue lace. They are stained. They will have to be dyed or just use them stained because we're, you, we're making junk journals. Uh, this one, that's pretty. This looks like these two are the same. Is it the same as this one? Yep, I got three cards of that. I'm gonna coffee dye these before I put them in the shop, I think and a peach color one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not too bad. They were less than two dollars a card. The ones that say antique, there are more. This one was twelve dollars for this card and it doesn't say how much is on it because the person probably didn't take it off and measure it. Stapled right into the bag. I looked at these the last time I was there, a month ago. But I didn't want to pay that price. Oh, that is beautiful. And it does look like there's several yards on there. I have to make sure I keep it with the right package so I know how much I paid and how much I need to charge. All right, this one is gorgeous. And this one was $12 also. Isn't that beautiful? Again, it looks like it might be several yards. And then the last one was 18. And it's a, more like a crocheted type of trim. And I love it. And it looks like there's quite a bit there. It's thicker than the other, of course, so it might be about the same amount on each. I don't know. So that does it for the textiles. I'll be back with the paper and miscellaneous stuff.